Maiden is the story of how Tracy Edwards, a then 24-year-old cook on charter boats, became the skipper of the first ever all-female crew to enter the Whitbread round the world in 1989. Now Tracy's inspirational dream and journey is a new film called Maiden, and here is a sneak peek. Sailing at that time was very male dominated. There were just no women anywhere in it. The Whitbread Round the World Race at 33,000 miles is the longest and most challenging on Earth. I wanted to be part of this. I remember going to the skipper and he went, We're not going to be the only racing team in the world, but a girl. And that's when I made the decision to put an all female crew into the race. And joining us now is sailing captain Tracy Edwards and the director of Maiden, Alex Holmes. Welcome. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Tracy, I want to start with you. What made you want to do this race, and how did you think of an all-female team? Well, I did the 85-86 Whitbread Around the World race with 17 men. Okay. That should just answer that oh, question yeah. right now. <laughs> um, I gotcha, yeah. I gotcha. <laughs> it was, um, I mean, it was great fun, and they taught me loads, and, and I did learn more about sailing than I've ever learned in my life, but, it, you know, it was a bit smelly. <laughs> and uh, so I, I also, being serious, um, realized there were 230 crew in this race and three of us were girls. And I just thought, wow, you know, there, there's something really wrong with this. I also wanted to navigate and I thought there's no way a bunch of guys are going to let me on their boat as a navigator. So the world looks like this and I need it to look like something else. So I, I changed my world and I created an all female crew in which I could be navigator. <laughs> wow, what, I mean, what drive and determination. When you started out doing this, um, you were young, you had a bunch of young women around you. Uh, what set in when you said, okay, I'm really doing this? Because a lot of people have dreams, right. but then when you get the opportunity to actually do it, sometimes it's like, oh my God, I actually <laughs> have to do it. There was a little bit of that, I have to say. <laughs> when all these women turned up, went, right, we're ready to go racing. Uh, oh, okay, I guess I have to do this now. Um, but for us, I think it became more than our own personal dreams when we realized how hard it was going to be and people telling us, you can't do this, you're going to die. And it wasn't like you might, you know, you will die. So it was all this sort of stuff coming at us. And I think then we realized we're not just doing this for us, we're doing this for all women everywhere. And, and what really drove us and didn't allow us to give up was the thought that if we don't do this, the women that come after us, you know, will be like a millstone around their neck. You know, people will be going, oh, you see, they didn't do it. Mm. They didn't do it, so you so won't be So you able were to do driven it. by something bigger than yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely in the end, it became for all women everywhere. And Alex, how did you come to meet Tracy? I first met Tracy when she came to give a talk at my daughter's elementary school. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and I knew straight away that she was a remarkable character. I mean, Tracy has such energy and drive. Uh, and as she started to tell her story, I could see all these 11-year-old children <laughs> wrapped, uh, but also the grown-ups who were there to, to, right. for, the, for this evening event were also kind of on the edge of their seats. So I, I also knew there was a film in, in <laughs> Tracy's story. Um, what I didn't know at that time was that they had cameras on board the whole way around. Um, and that obviously transformed it because I had first imagined it as maybe some sort of drama, uh, right. but then the chance to make it as a documentary was a gift because my first love is documentary. Mm. Um, and the footage is amazing. Uh, I mean, what they managed to achieve and what they managed to, to capture, even the filming was a feat in itself. Right. Uh, so, you know, it was just a, a, a thrill to, to get involved and to meet the rest of the crew and to. Uh, to tell this story. Something like that, you need that natural reaction to really understand what you guys were going through. So I love that all that original film is in there. Absolutely. I was just thinking the raw emotion that you're able to get, you cannot recreate that on the screen. No. But I understand, like, it, it must have been diff difficult or different winning this amazing feat as an all-female team, but having a male director. It's good he had a daughter, though, so he could draw from, <laughs> from that female energy. <laughs> what well, was it like teaming with a man to tell the story of these women? Well, Alex has a, a, a very great feminine side to him. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is now actually an honorary maiden, uh, <laughs> which he, he doesn't know that yet. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm honored. Um, I, I think it, the great thing about this film is it's not about men or women. It, it is about a team of people that came together to do something that they were told they couldn't, and it's about overcoming odds, and it's about fighting the battle, and... 
And really, as Alex says, um, quite often making this film, what he realised was this is about teamwork. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is about people supporting each other. I mean, I th do think women are particularly good at that. I didn't notice that so much on the guys' boat. You know, there were no sort of arms around shoulders going, you OK, mate? You know, <laughs> there was none of that, you know, where, whereas on the girls' boat, you know, you sort of if we, if we ever felt a bit down or, you know, you, there's always be someone there going, cup of tea, <laughs> you know, so um, that, that kind of runs through it. And, and I don't think I ever really thought of, uh, sorry, I didn't think, That's okay. <laughs> I, didn't think <laughs> I didn't think of Alex being a man. <laughs> sorry. Great. He That's was a great. film director. He was very drawn to our story. And the way he talked about it when he first spoke to me, I thought, yeah, he, he mm. gets this. He and, gets and, it. And, and I should say, you know, that, that films don't get made by just one person. You know, yeah. I'm part of a right. team. Mm -hmm. I, I happen to be the tip of the spear of that team, but I'm part of a team. And I had an amazing producer, Victoria Gregory, and I had a, an unbelievable editor, Katie Breyer. And I think anybody who sees the film realizes just how, how, how carefully she's chosen the, 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 the mm. way the pictures are put together. It's really an in incredible achievement. By so them. we saw you break through those barriers, but to these days we still have these conversations about women in sports. <laughs> and just now with the U.S. Women's National mm -hmm. Soccer Team, mm -hmm. you know, earning more money uh, from their games than men, but getting paid less. So what do you think about the state that uh, females are in sports right now? Well, I don't think we've come far enough, and I think that's the really sad thing. You know, I'd love to be able to say 30 years later, oh, yeah, everything's changed, you know, and, it, you know, it's all different. I think on the, on, the, on the surface, it seems to have changed, and, you know, we have sponsors now for, for women's football, which is, which is fantastic, but as you say, they don't earn as much as the men. Right. Nowhere, anywhere, in any walk of life, do women earn as much as men and you know that was brought into the UK in law in the 70s and it's still not happening so mm -hmm. you know we still have a long way to go and and what we're finding at the moment because we maiden is now sailing around the world again <laughs> um, in the third chapter of her life and we're fundraising for that and and the difference is that 30 years ago people said no very quickly we're not going to sponsor you 30 years later, there's a sort of little tick box exercise that goes on. Yes, we'll talk to you because mm. you're a woman in sport. And mm. we tick. Yes, we do appreciate women's empowerment and girls' education. Tick. Um, are we going to sponsor you? No, we're going to sponsor men's whatever, you know. Right. So mm. there's a, a surface thing going on which isn't really backed up by what's happening underneath. And I think that's very disappointing. I. I am slightly filled with optimism and hope, though, when I, when I do look at my daughter's generation mm -hmm. and how little they see, you know, they don't understand equality. They, young boys go, well, of course girls are equal. Why, why wouldn't they that, be? That is that progress. Is, yeah. And I want to tell the folks at home, you can learn more about Tracy and how her mother was a groundbreaking person who inspired her. I truly think this was your destiny, and I thank both of you to bringing it to the big screen for the public to be inspired. Thank you. Thank you. The Thank Maiden you. is out today, July 5th.